right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. So we have 24 colors here. The package states that this is a pre-mix and ready to pour, ultra pigmented, high flow consistency, water-based and non-toxic, and we have received primary and metallic colors. This, also, this box also states that this is professional grade. So we're going to open this thing up. These are two ounce bottles. And we got a nice, well, for one, let's talk, look at the packaging. Love the packaging, vibrant colors. I really, really like that. Um, yes, I, the packaging is, whoo, fire. All right. So I have a thank you letter or a little note. Uh-oh, I think we got a little bit of an accident here. So one of my paints is spilled. Um, that's okay. All right. So we got that cleaned up. <clears throat> I like the color choices. Set. One thing off the bat that I personally prefer will be a larger bottle. I know this is a pouring set, but I would prefer four ounces, but ha that has nothing to do with the quality. Speaking of quality, let's get into it. So I am going to pour one of these bottles out so you can see, um, see what it looks like. Uh, so this is metallic viridian and I want to see how it pours um, and get kind of the level of the consistency so it is very fluid very fluid um, it's metallic um, the smell is nice and fresh. I do like to smell my paints to make sure that they're fresh or at least smell fresh. If they're not, I know that, you know, they may not cooperate. So I know that sounds pretty weird, but it is what it is. And while this may appear thin, um, this is about the consistency of other acrylic pouring paints that are pre-mixed. I prefer mine a little thicker, but nice and for the sake of comparison here is a bottle of Artislav ready to flow excuse me ready to pour and we'll look at its consistency as well I just want you guys to have an idea um, you know of everything and so this is not competition or anything like that i'm just simply doing a honest review and as you can see this is a silver metallic and i will say this one is a touch and i mean a touch thicker but not by much all right bye artist love because this video isn't about you <laughs> back to our hippie crafter paint so though i primarily pour paint it's good to see how the paints uh, you know spread because we do use them for as embellishing and um, sometimes painting small areas so it's good to know so I just want to see how this paint paints <laughs> so because it is a thinner paint, it's going to take more for coverage, but I do like what I see here. Um, the color lays very uniformly, uniform, uniformly, and it's very easy to, to lay this paint down. This one is just the regular Viridian. I just want to see um, a difference between the metallic and the regular. The color has some good pigments in it, or pigmentation, I should say. It spreads really well. And this is about five minutes later. So, nice coverage, pretty color. All right, let's set this up for a ring pour really quick. All right, we have our cup here. 
and I'm just going to layer it. I've taken a few colors out. Here is my cup with six colors and everything seems to be very separated so far, which I like. Pinched my cup a bit and I'm just gonna pour. My white is gone because I didn't put down a base or a flood coat. But look at the colors, how well they stayed separated. Very pretty. Take a little bit of the green. Sorry about the little oopsie daisy up top. Okay, I really like the composition in this. Now for these paints to be relatively thin, the definition is there. I'm actually surprised at how well maintained these colors stayed. I used some metallics and some not. Some, some paints that weren't metallic, um, just to see because metallics can overpower and in this case they are not. Uh, I think they did a really good job in mixing these uh, because, I mean, the definition on this is freaking gorgeous. And you just, I would never expect this type of definition from a paint that I mix this thinly. You can even see here the paint splatters have maintained their colors. Um, that's really phenomenal. This time I'm using cool colors. This is cobalt blue, metallic purple. Rose, metallic rose, and white. Actually, let's switch out the metallic rose for uh, thalo blue. Let's put our thalo blue in first. And this time we're going to do a dirty cut pour. Kind of like a flip cut, but I'm not going to flip it. And I'm going to add silicone to two of the colors, the thalo blue and the white. Uh, I'm actually going to add hair serum. This is coconut milk. white 
adding white to our cup, metallic white, excuse me. All right, we have all of our colors here and we're just gonna pour it out. Alright, let's move this paint around. Look at that center, so pretty. The blues definitely overpowered the other colors. But there were also two blues to overpower. And we're going to torch. Just gonna pour out a little more paint here. All right. Got some cool reactions going on here and there. The metallic purple is really pretty. So torching it doesn't get a huge reaction. Um, it could be because I'm using hair serum, which I have used before, but I typically use silicone oil. I'm just out right now. Um, but I do like the color of these paints really well. Boom with these paints. I've laid down some of their titanium white and I'm gonna lay down a little bit more. Um, I just wanna see the bloom technique is a little bit more of an advanced technique. So I just wanna see how the paint holds up. I'm not expecting a whole lot because I don't do uh, blooms with pre-mixed paints very often with the exception of Boom Gel Stain. But it's fine for reviewing. And so we're just pouring us a little paint out here. All right, I've mixed up some cell activator here, and we're going to give this a good blow. Oh, look guys, wow. 
Very pretty. I love the color combinations. Very pretty. Something different, you know? Uh, now, disclaimer, this is a one-time thing. I literally mixed all this up on camera, so I probably will need to make some adjustments to my cell activator, but look at the, just look at the deepness of these colors and how vibrant they stayed, even though we blew them out. Um, I like that very much. All right, I know this is a review, but this is bomb. Like, real talk. Like, someone could really take the time and study what cell activator they need. This is it. Like, this is a it's a different look a little bit on the blooms. Um, so if you have been struggling with blooms, this might be some paint to try out. You don't have to worry about a pouring medium. And because I'm so thrilled right now, I'm gonna pour another one just to see what happens. <laughs> I put some more colors down. Let's try this again. So this time I'm blowing really, really soft, trying to spread that cell activator. So we got some cool results here. Just wanted to play around a bit, give you an idea. And it came out really pretty. Um, this is really cool. I'm really enjoying this experiment and I hope you enjoy this product review. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I just wanted to give you a quick wrap up and my thoughts on Hippie Crafter. One, the customer service has been awesome. I've been corresponding by email with Hippie Crafter, um, just with some ideas and things that I wanted to express to them. And they are pretty amazing people. It's a small family run business and I love that supporting small businesses. But more importantly, I like the paint. It is thin for my liking. It may not be thin for your liking, but that's just a personal preference. Um, I was astounded and blown away by how intense the colors stayed, especially when I did the blooms and spread it out the colors a bit. I was expecting, um, I was expecting them not to hold up as well as they did, and I really like it. The consistency is very smooth. Of course, it's thin, but it it, it is smooth and um, it goes on very well. Let me show you dry results of the rain pour that we did. So this dries to a nice glossy finish and you can see we kept all of the definition. Um, it's nice and smooth and I'm really happy with it. So if I had to give this a 1 out of 10, 10 being the highest, 1 being the lowest, I would give this product like a nine um i think the paint 
The paint is more versatile than I thought it would be in a number of techniques. And one of the biggest perks is you don't have to do anything to it that you don't want to. Now, what you can do, you can thicken up the paint if you would like on your own, but you get paint that is already mixed up. You know exactly how it comes. So you can play around with it, but you always have a base product to go back to. And, and that is what I like. Um, Hippie Crafter also has some micro powders. I plan on getting those to try those out as well. They have a slew of other products. So be sure to check them out. As far as this paint set goes, I like the colors. I would make one substitution um, and that would be um, to put a metallic pink Exchange out the either metallic rose or the metallic scarlet for a really light metallic pink because these colors are very similar um, in my opinion. And I think that that would be a nice addition to this set. Otherwise, I love the color choices. I love that they have so many options. We already talked about the amazing packaging. And I think that about sums it up. Questions, comments, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed this content, please consider giving me a like, um, pressing that subscribe button and turning those notification bells on. It is free to you, but it also is helpful for me. I also um, have become an Amazon affiliate. So if you shop through my Amazon affiliate code, uh, that will be free to you, but it will also help me um, in which I would be able to get um, a very small commission off the things that you purchase from my listing. Well, folks, as always, remember, family, do every single thing with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. I hope you have an amazing, productive day. I will see you very soon in another video. Peace.